We all love watching and dreaming, a 55-minute blood-heavy action-packed show finale that definitely exceeded expectations. However, you might still be a little confused, and you're not alone. There were several questions that either came up during the finale or were left unexplored from previous seasons. After all, it would be nearly impossible to answer everything in three long format episodes, and some other plot lines might have been left open for interpretation. Well, guess what? This is our chance guys, because this coming Friday, a bunch of the cast, including Dana Terrace herself, will be live for a short window of time to answer our questions directly. My name is Cass House, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to stay updated. The Owl House might be over, but there's still a bunch of other animation projects I will be covering. Now first, let me give you some context. About a year ago, Cece Jones, the official voice actor for Lilith, along with Rebecca Rose, started their own talkback show called Post Hood. I know, a adorable. In it, they would usually discuss the most recent Owl House episode, have different guests from the crew ranging from other voice actors, animators, writers, and one time they even invited Matt Brawley, the creator of Amphibia. So fast forward to today, they recently announced they will have another of these post-hood shows on Friday, April 28th, with guest star Dana Terrace, and by the looks of it, this could be the very last one. It will be streamed at 8pm Pacific Time on Sissy's Instagram. I'm going to leave a link to her Insta down in the description of the video just in case. And since I did a little bit of a community poll yesterday, I noticed a lot of people won't be able to make it. So I've decided I'll be doing a little live stream on Friday. It will give me a chance to submit questions of my own and some of yours in case you can't watch it live. Like I was left wondering what's the story behind Hoodie and why was there a mini version of him in the Titan's eye? Was Caleb Wittevane actually confirmed to be a clock? Thorn descendant and are Ida and Rain married and so so much more. I'm so excited to see some of the cast reunited again and even if they don't get to answer a lot of the questions, I'm happy with just being able to thank Dana and all the team for the hard work. They really deserve a long break. Now let me know, will you be able to make it to the Instagram live and which questions will you be asking on Friday? You can always re-watch my live stream afterwards if you miss it. I've gotcha. Thank you guys for watching. Nos vemos la próxima. Bye! Bye.